I don't know. You may you may die from that. Like you may straight up die from that. Like if you miss the tech against Yoshi, like you're in for a disaster as it is. Um, but we'll see how it goes for this particular matchup. There's also the fact that Jen could switch to Fox. Um, that could be a thing later on in the set, regardless of who's winning or losing. Be curious to see how Jen responds to the Boy Wonder. As winner semi Suarez or Jen starts with Pokemon Stadium too. A stage I feel fits both of these characters really well. Yeah, no, I mean both of these characters definitely have the the the, the maneuverability. Just just kind of just get around all this, and these I don't I'm not sure if these guys have met up before. You know, uh, I think they have. Oh, well, they've talked all the time. Although as far as the times they've played in bracket, yeah, in ultimate, maybe once. Yeah, you, or you, twice. Usually at Aeon, so do you? Does that happen a lot? I don't know. If, I don't know if he goes to Aeon. Well, a lot. Jen has not appeared at an Aeon yet. Okay. So. Okay. The, uh, the situations for them to run into each other would have to be during sagas uh, or out of region events like collision or something. Mm. Although I don't think they ran into each other. This okay, so this may actually be their first run in, and that's always a su it's always super interesting to see uh, when two players meet for the first time because it, you know it, it's a toss up. You know they're both uh, extremely good players, and you don't really know who's going to take this one. I mean. They're <laughs> They they know exactly which one which the what the other wants right now. Suarez with the back air actually just gonna take it with the up tilt. 109. Yoshi is a heavy boy. So right now he's he, he is in a very very good position right now. Suarez is one to just take it as far as he can. Don't jump. Yeah, what are you doing, boy? I'm not saw, gonna dive. I saw the fair too. I was like, nah. He's <laughs> if he jumped, he would have jumped and fared. But if he did, but he didn't, so he's gonna. <laughs> yeah, Suarez big chilling right now with the damage he's managed to build up with this lead. I feel like a lot of this is just... Like, how is Jen going to respond? Because he may have the Yoshi experience from the from Raptor. Raptor does come to uh, Xeno pretty often. But there are key differences in, in their combo game specifically, I feel. So, like, going trade for trade with Suarez compared to going trade for trade with Raptor... I feel is a lot more, brings a lot more dire of situations to you. Because when Suarez gets his one little hit, he's very aware of, like, what he's going to be able to do to follow that up. Exactly. Like, you, you notice how he's staying at, like, such a precise distance mm -hmm. whenever he gets a move that could cause a pratfall. Because he, he wants to be ready for the jab lock, but he also knows, like, all right, there might just be a tech situation, then I have to be prepared for that. And that's the thing, you know, uh, I would say he's the more aggressive Yoshi. Um, because Yoshi's a character that you can, like, play him campy or you can play him aggressively. And an aggressive Yoshi is actually hella scary because of the options available to this character. Uh, you know, Suarez always wants to dunk, man. Like, that's the thing. Like, Yoshi players are kind of like Oh, Mario that's players. in their blood. Yeah, Yoshi players are kind of like Mario players in that sense where it's like they, they, they want that dunk, man. <laughs> that dunk is meaty. Oh, great parry by Jen. That was a lot of time. And this is what I'm saying about parrying. You can't, just because you do it, doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to be able to punish. I don't know the percent, uh, not the percents. I don't know the frame specific uh, data for, for parrying to punishing, but it's definitely something that you want to preemptively know that you're going to do, and you want to know what you're going to do before that. And Jen, unfortunately, did Palatin a slow-ass down smash. <laughs> Yeah, no, there was all the time in the world for me. Yeah, so, yeah I think the down smash is just genius, it. given the fact that they were at the ledge. He was like, "I'm gonna show you. A I'm gonna show you a an actual down smash." <laughs> so game two, run it back to PS2, and not the worst of choices, but like Suarez performs on the stage really well. So I feel like a change of scenery might have been able to at least ease a bit of the pain for Jen. That being said, it wasn't that far off of a match. It was really just Suarez managed to take that second stock of Jen's and just rake it through the mud. No, yeah, I mean that that uh that offstage game with with <laughs> that Suarez is doing is amazing. And keep but keep in mind, Jen is someone that pretty much dominates Xenos. You know, it, like when you when you see Jen at a Xeno, you know he's gonna be in the top top four at least, right? And if he's not, you're like, what the hell happened, right? So the boy cooks, but hey, the yeah. same can be said for Suarez. Finally, a return to form last night. 
at Aeon, where he got himself into top three. After a tiny bit of a dip, but still performing really well when he travels. Like, both of these guys are titans of their sub-region. Jen does a great job at defending the house, and much of the same for Suarez back home in Long Island. Monster Island. <laughs> uh, honestly, it is we're, we're calling it that now, man. <laughs> You, you did it. You did it. That's that was, what you want to do. I we're rolling I with it. you. We're rolling with it, man. <laughs> hey, listen. If there's anybody a monster on the screen, it's definitely Suarez coming this set. Yeah, no. He's been doing such a good job of punishing wherever Jen wants to position himself. And I feel like Jen's also not picking the right tools to uh, to pressure out Suarez. We've seen plenty of explosive flame to like stave off the pressure, but that can only slow him down so much. I feel like auto reticle or retreating back airs might be a bit better for uh, countering Yoshi play, but there's still plenty of time for both of these guys to learn each other's uh, styles. Yeah, but you know, slightly less time for Jet as Suarez is already up one set. And the morale booster is huge. When you when you win that first set in the best of five, I'm sorry, the first game in the best of five, you're like, ah, refresh. You know, like, wow, great coverage immediately doing that after Jen whiffed the grab and that's that that you have to have awareness for that he knew Jen grabbed okay immediately boom Yoshi and that's one of the things that you have to be careful and Yoshi's one of, one of Yoshi's scariest things is his ability to reverse the egg lay right because that egg lay can lead into a oh that was so smart yeah it can lead into you know the down air which is going to take my 30 percent or it can lead into a spike depending on where you do it Suarez just fighting for his life, using that great air dodge drift to actually just come back on stage. Toss! I love that. So, one thing that I feel like Jen has managed to pick up on is how Suarez moves around when he wants to try and do something. Uh -huh. And those little, like, bursts of initial dash is always something Suarez, like, does to sort of hand wave that he's going to try to go in with a grab mix up. We've seen it multiple times thus far, just even in game two, not even counting how often it worked in game one. And even right there, speaking of devil. But Jen finally catching up onto it, managed to position himself really well to punish it. And it's those little habits that you need to take advantage of when you're fighting Yoshi. Because a lot of this character's kid is remarkably safe. Like, you have to pick apart where the player has their flaws, not so much the character. I completely agree with that, Hangman. As Jen is just kind of just using... Right, right there, that that entire... You know, for the last five, 10 seconds, that entire match took place on around this platform. As we see Jen trying to be more tricky with his, uh, with his movements, he knows that Suarez loves to kind of just know where you are before you do. So, oh! That's what I like that to see! Sexy. Sexy. Great patience, great spacing. And you know, he hasn't punished Suarez like that before. So that's actually great awareness from Jen to just wait that out. Toma! Give you a little pat on the shoulder. That but you good. can't, don't do that yet. <laughs> Yo, Bow Jason. That's it. Uh, was, you, once Bo touches you on the shoulders, you lost. <laughs> That's it, man. All right, but that was actually a great comeback from Jen. Suarez did look like he had the match, man. It looked like he had Jen's number. It was like, you know, it's going to be 2-0. Jen's going to have to reverse 3-0 him. But now, beautiful comeback by Jen. And do you? I feel like we may go to game five, man. These, these guys are pushing each other. I would see it. I think they're both... Definitely talented enough to bring us there. But I feel like it's the little reads that let Jen come out on top in game two, where for the most part, it seemed like Suarez had a lot of the uh, momentum. See what Jen can do now that he's in control here in game three. I've got a feeling this whole set's gonna stay on stadium. Too. It just benefits both characters so well. And both players have shown that they're very proficient with navigating it from an offensive and defensive <laughs> point of <Christ>. view. <laughs> Yeah, I'm like, I'm like, yeah. Well, y'all never seen a forward air before? No, it's just like, it's just. Y'all never survived he, the dunk? He immediately read it, and I saw, like, it was like, he, he, ha, ha. <laughs> I'm like, damn. Jen is so lucky he actually was caught on the, on, like, on the ledge for that one, man. That's just good DI. Oh, that was actually, that was a frame trap. Oh! oh. Okay. 
You hate to see it happen that way, but Jen's not a player to just let that go to his head. He knows that this match is not anywhere near lost. Oh, absolutely, especially considering how that first stock was just a mile a minute for both players. Like, that's just a little bit less wind beneath his wings. He's still got Suarez over 130% in counting. He's got control of the ledge. But he's not able to end up the stock just yet. Yeah, no, but the more, the more time you take to kill Suarez, the stronger Suarez becomes. <laughs> I don't know if that's not, how that works. Not in the rage sense, but in the Suarez sense. This man is a freaking shark. Yeah, sure. He smells you bleeding, and he wants to take advantage of that. Great opportunity to capitalize on that up there. He's taking the stock. Look at that. He's already at 81%. He literally went up 40%. 41 to 81. My God. Up there's kind of nice. Kind of. Kind of nice. But Jen is returning the favor. Not as much damage, but putting him in a, putting himself in a good position right here. Catching the tech with the the tech, uh, the normal tech with the down tilt. Ooh. Whoa. Oh! 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 Still trying to follow him. <laughs> I like me. it though. Yoshi can afford to do that. Yoshi. Like, it's always scary, man. When piloted by Suarez, you would think this character just can't get gifts. Yeah. Like it's super hard because because of, of the egg returns too. Like he, he gets so to much it. lift out of the first egg throw, mm -hmm. and then directional air dodge supplements his recovery super well. So add on his amazing air, air, aerial acceleration. Like this character can just follow you forever. <laughs> it's a it's Sonic's homing attack. It's just oh. Even Suarez shaking his head with that one. That was a bit of a weird one because we saw Suarez. He died into the stage so that he could tech, but missed the tech. That was. It took forever for him to dirty. die up there too. Yeah, that was insane, man. That was yeah. That was that was a very slow death. But now Jen trying to take this as a runaway game three. Great nair. That that's a Tim of a lifetime, bro. Bro, that's a limited edition race. Where else are you gonna find them size 83 and <laughs> like plum colored? <laughs> size 83. <laughs> Look at them shits. This could feed a family of four. They had. They definitely can. But Suarez having to. Oh, that's actually a great counter to try and get himself out of this perilous position. Ooh. Okay. I want to take note out. We haven't really seen explosive flame in uh, this game. It's because Suarez is constantly pressuring Jen. He doesn't really have the time to do it, man. That was actually a great usage of it. And now that Jen's in the lead, he is doing it a bit more. Just to kind of throw it out there, because just because of the fact that he hasn't done it this much, all right, Suarez actually just bringing this back. This is a scary situation, because if he gets forward smash, he's probably dead. All right, back air, not going to do it just yet. Oh! Oh, I turn love back to it, neutral. Force back to do. Yes, it is. Yep. Can't just be throwing out moves like that. I like the idea, I, he, but he thought he was gonna jump. That's why. Cause Suarez is always hopping around, so he thought he was gonna read a jump. Um, and that's one of the situations that it's super unfortunate in Smash because, like, you know that your read what was correct. Sorry, you know that your option was correct, but your timing was off. Right. Because chances are Suarez would have jumped if he hadn't up smashed. Like, if he would have just waited, like, one second more, maybe he would jump with the Nair or something like that. But as you said, man, we are taking it right back to uh, to Pokemon Stadium. Both of these players are just kind of just even on this. No reason to switch stages, right? Oh, it is. Good stage. That being said, I feel like there's still a ton. There's, like, even though all four of the games that have been played so far have been on Pokemon Stadium 2. Each game is showing you just a little bit more of the depth to navigating the stage with these characters. Like, we've seen how Jen is adapted from trying to control the stage, like around the uh, the Legend platforms with explosive flame zoning, to how now he's able to, like, very proactively check a lot of Suarez's aerial momentum with back airs and dash attacks and really well-spaced neutral airs on my net. Yeah, no, and but Suarez actually just taking Jen for a ride right now. He didn't let him land for like a good 10 seconds. Yeah, that's another uh, factor of the adaptation for both of these players is that 
Suarez, who normally is able to play passively on Stadium 2 really well, and then just open up with his combos where he's needed. Like, he's been doing a really good job of changing that play style to be more of just, like, constantly haunting Jen, being right on top of him, threatening hitboxes, opting for trades where he needs to, and killing more with reads than just, like, outright comboing into the kill. And I feel like it's the adaptation for both of these players that's why this has been such an even battle. And that's the scariest part, right? When, you're, when your opponent can adapt as, as easily as you can, and you're going head to head. Because you, you ideally you always want to be botting your opponent, you know? But none of these none of these none of these players can seem to bot each other. That was a misinput. Yoshi's never did it on purpose. I guarantee you this. <laughs> like it's just never. It's not a thing. Raptor swears that it's a mix up that only the Yoshis know. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> They're in 2091. The rest of us are in 2019. Yeah, we gotta catch up, man. <laughs> that option's still bad here. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All right, he's using Yoshi's amazing air drift to actually just constantly air dodge to the stage. Not having to use his, uh, his second jump, too. So he has a save just in case he does get hit out of it. Ooh! Per almost perfect spacing for the for that reverse grab, but... I how nervous it. both of these players seem to be with their position. Ooh! Ooh. I Notice, Jen caught wind of Suarez always using his air dodge to get to the stage. So he down tilted him, popped him up, waited, and caught him with another man. And Even though it's a smart option, I feel like Suarez was definitely getting into a bad habit of only using it, and that's why Jen was able to pop him for it. Yeah, yeah, 100%. And now, ooh, this is scary. Great option by Jen. You don't really see players uh, neutral get up attack like that uh, a lot, especially you know, high level players like these two, just because it's considered a bad option, because you can just get you know comboed again if yeah. your opponent reads it. But if you haven't done it in a while, you know, hey, why the hell not, right? Yoshi not having a kill throw right now. Suarez having to give up a little bit of stage control, but slowly inching his way back with these back airs. I love how he's approaching yeah. from behind. You know he just wants to fish out with the back air. Because either the single hit's going to drag in, or he's just going to outright kill with it. It's going to be the Nair that manages to do it, but... Suarez on game point, sitting on his last stock at 109%. And he's got quite a bit ahead of work of him. A work ahead of him if he wants to try and clutch this out. But it, honestly, it's looking like we're going to a game five, Wolf. It, that definitely looks like a hang, man. But, you know, I mean, with the explosive player that Suarez is, it's definitely impossible to just get, like, a cheeky spike right now, man. And I think that's what, he, that's what he's going to go for. But Jen being a super good player, he knows this. So he's going to try and remain on stage as much as possible and not overextend great down tilt to up air. Once and again. once again, the da the air dodge. Yep, he's catching it, and Suarez needs to understand that he can't. You know, it's it's already twice that he lost stock for this. Is he gonna lose the entire set because of that same mistake? It'll be interesting to see because I feel like now that he's been punished twice for it, he's going. Suarez is going to be a lot more aware of the drawbacks of that option. Like, yes, he doesn't want to commit to the jump because Palutena could read where he's positioning himself after the armor lets out and then punish thereafter. Or he'll just, like, move himself too far away. So, like, I like the idea of trying to keep the battle more close in. I feel like that's what's been working out really well for Suarez. But it's these little things that are really hanging him up. And Jen's doing a fantastic job of being able to exploit those little weaknesses. Because those aren't, like, glaring faults in Suarez's play. They're like little things that you have to be well prepared and like think out ahead of time if you want to punish. 100% agreed, man. 100% agreed. And right now, you know, Suarez needs to capitalize on the little weaknesses that Jen, the little, the little openings that Jen is giving Suarez, which isn't a lot. But he, you know, just like Jen is doing, Suarez needs to do the exact same thing. Because right now, I, this match has, I have a feeling this match is going to go right down to the wire. And my heart can't take this! That air dodge, that air drift was actually insane. Yeah, last time Suarez didn't have a jump, and he was running out of distance from the egg throws. Although, now he has plenty of his options. But he's opting once again to return with the air dodge. All right, so at this point, if he, if he, if he dies to this air dodge one more time, that's his fault. <laughs> it I mean, honestly, too many... the second the third time have been his fault. <laughs> he should have learned by now. Yeah, like but it's... Jen's going to run away with this lead that he's got. I mean, it is a high-pressure situation. You are in winner semis of Xenosaga. You know, you don't want to go into loser's, into loser's side. 
So it's something that Suarez wants to think about as he controls Jen right here, control stage, 22%, not that bad at all, man. He immediately took the stock, and wow, that was actually super smart, forcing Jen into shield, and now he's just running away with this. All right, trying to get back. I like the cross up there. Yoshi's, Yoshi's Nair is super insane. Retreating there is so scary, man. Okay, now he has no jump. Jen is waiting for that. Yo. Almost, almost, man. All right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, trying to go for the ledge trump, which I, I don't think I've ever seen him go for a ledge trump in his life. <laughs> yeah, ledge trump. I usually what? thought it was, he usually just like nares at the ledge and you get hit by it, but. Definitely an odd option, but from Yoshi, yeah, might have been cool. I don't know if Bear there catching at that uh, particular angle or that timing, but if there's anyone who would know, it would it's definitely Suarez. be Suarez. Yeah. Oh, I like the attempt from the uh, from the Yoshi bomb, but not gonna do it just yet. And look how cautious these players are being as Suarez just takes it with the back air, and now he's in the lead, about to head to winners finals, beating. Jen, one of the best players in New York. And this is to fight Mr. E in winner's finals, which is something that Suarez is very capable of and he has done in the past. So this could be his He's ticket to grand finals, past, right? Yes. He's beaten, right? Yeah. Both of these players have beaten Mr. E. And this is a scary part, man. I know how badly Jen wants to beat Suarez right now, but he has to turn up. He needs to find a way to see the stock. Back throw? No. Down throw. Interesting. He knew. I guess he knew that it wasn't going to kill. Ooh. All right, that's usually a very risky option. Oh, that was good. See all set. The Yoshi bomb from up high, bring yourself back to the ledge. All right, the dare not going to follow up with it, but he is going to get. Oh, all right. Yeah. Suarez actually just doing a great option. Got to use that armor on. to get out of every situation that you can, man. Ooh. Single hit bear, not going to lead into anything just yet, but we're starting to get into that crunch time for Suarez. If he doesn't end out a stock quick for Jen, then that's it. The oh. match is thrown. He needs to be careful with jumping high. Jen is taking note of this, slowly but surely. He's gonna catch him with the double jump up air. Down to a sour spot, catches. All right, All pressure's right. on for both of these players. And we're down to the wire, ew, ew. Last hit of the- uh, Yoshi's there. roll. Yeah, don't worry about that. <laughs> that is nasty. Don't worry about that. Oh, man. Oh, oh, oh. What's happening? Oh, Suarez. Oh, good lord. Both oh, of these boys God. dancing with death right now. Oh, all right. The Nair not going to do it just yet. <sighs> Notice Suarez jumped again, man. Suarez jumped again. He, I, he's going to. He, Jen is fishing for these. He wants that double jump upper so badly. Dash tag not going to do it. Nair? That was the most and, patient oh. Nair I've ever seen out of it, Suarez. It really was. And crack. Ah! Okay. Now yet the back, back air gets it. That's gonna do it. Yo, Suarez the takes it over Jen from in the John. crazy set. Boys, dap it up, and just like that, Suarez is gonna move on to winners' finals to fight Mr. E. All right, boys.